It's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Rudolph is part of Santa's special team of magical reindeer who pull his sleigh around the world on Christmas Eve. Hello, Rudolph. You don't seem to be your usual self today. What seems to be the matter? Are you telling me you can't fly, Rudolph? Hmm, we have to fix that, don't we? So you can deliver all the presents to good girls and boys on Christmas Eve. Maybe, instead of eating that grass, Robbo can make you some magical reindeer food to give you that Christmas spirit again. Some magical reindeer food coming right up. Here we go. Amazing! You look better already, Rudolph. Let's see if you can fly now. Can you take a big leap again? Brilliant, Rudolph! Look at them go! Merry Christmas, Santa! Merry Christmas, Rudolph! Ho, ho, ho! Wow! Thank you for the present, Santa. I'm glad Rudolph is feeling much better. Did you know that snakes can't chew their food? So they have to swallow it whole. Hi there, Sally. Let's take a look at what might be the matter with you. Hmm, it looks like Sally might have swallowed something that doesn't belong there. I know that shape, but let me just double check. Robbo, I think we need to have a closer look. Can you take an x-ray, please? One x-ray coming right up. An x-ray is a machine that can see through things. We can use it to take pictures of our insides. It's a key! Oh dear, Sally, a key definitely doesn't belong in your tummy. Swallowing keys and other objects like this can be very dangerous. It could hurt your tummy and make you very unwell. <coughs> well, now we know what the problem is, how can we remove the key from Sally's tummy? How about a magnet? Magnets are amazing. They have a magnetic force that can attract some types of metals, like iron. Good idea, Robbo. If we put the magnet against Sally's skin, it will pull the key towards it and we can move it along Sally's body and back out of her mouth. Stay calm, Sally. This won't hurt and the key will be out in no time at all. it's out. How do you feel, Sally? Great work, Robbo. I think Sally's saying thank you. I think it must be my magnetic personality. Here comes Cecil the Ants snake. like to be with other ants and live in groups called colonies. Most ants are worker ants and they use teamwork to build the nest, protect their queen and find food for the rest of the colony. Hello, Alice. What's wrong? Why aren't you with the rest of the colony? Oh, I see, Alice. You've got a bad back from carrying too much. It looks like you've been trying to do too much by yourself. When you try to carry too much and you do it on your own You're making life more tricky Whereas you could make it known that you need a little help And your friends can clearly see A helping hand is welcome Work together, that's the key Share the load, it's going to help each one of you to 
be strong and to be brave when you're worrying about the work you've not yet done togetherness works wonders and you can work as one on your own you get frustrated and you can't get to the end don't carry all the world if your back is going to bend share the So, there you go, Alice. Do you think you'll let your family and friends help you a bit more now? Here, wear this back support, which will help when you are carrying things. Well done! You're all working together as a team. Teamwork makes the dream work. Here comes Shane the koala. Shane is eating eucalyptus leaves, which are a koala's favourite type of food. This is very strange. Normally Shane is so happy. I wonder what's wrong with him. I think Shane might be homesick, but I wonder where home is. Let's show him some pictures of places around the world and see which one makes Shane happy. Italy America Australia Shane is from Australia, which is on the other side of the world. Many people miss home when they are living somewhere different and they sometimes feel very sad and homesick. Well, let's sing a song to make him feel better, shall we? You're feeling homesick and that's because You're a long, long way from the land of Oz You miss visiting Sydney Opera House And going to the outback for a walkabout So there you go, Shane. Do you feel a bit happier now? And we have a little surprise for you, all the way from Australia. I think this one's for you, Shane. It's your cousin, Bruce. Our first animal today is Lucy the goldfish. Many people think that goldfish have trouble remembering things. This is actually not true. Goldfish have memories that last three months. I do hope Lucy remembers what she's come here for today. Hi Lucy, how can I help you today? Stop, stop, stop Lucy before you hurt yourself. 
I think I may know what's wrong, but I need your help, Robbo. I think Lucy needs an eye test. Please can you get some words up on the screen for Lucy? One eyesight test coming right up. Lucy, can you read this? Don't worry, Lucy. K, R, A, B spells crab. Let's try another. Never mind, Lucy. Sh, A, L spells shell. Hmm, I know. Robbo, I think Lucy has a problem with her eyesight. Can you please fetch the reading goggles? Try these out, Lucy. They're super special goggles that make you see better. Sometimes humans need to wear glasses to help them see better too. A perfect fit. Let's see if that makes a difference. That's right, Lucy. Ish spells fish. Well done. I think you just needed a pair of glasses, didn't you? Here comes Henrietta Hen. Did you know that hens are omnivores? Which means that as well as eating seeds and vegetables, they also eat insects and small animals like mice. What seems to be the problem? Look! Henrietta's laid four eggs, but they're all different shapes and sizes and not at all the right shape for an egg. I think Henrietta has forgotten what shape egg she needs to lay. Robbo, shall we try and remind her? Henrietta Hen, what shape eggs have you laid? Square, circle, triangle, rectangle. Henrietta Hen, what shape eggs have you laid? Square, circle, triangle, rectangle. Henrietta, what's the right shape? My friend Henrietta, you lay lovely eggs But what is the right shape? Can anybody guess? Is it a square? No, that's not right Is it a circle? Close, but I'm not ready to bite Is it a triangle? Is it a rectangle? No, it's an oval Henrietta has laid a perfectly shaped egg. So now we know that oval is the right shape for an egg. Here comes Lucy, the goldfish. Many people think that goldfish have trouble remembering things. This is actually not true. Goldfish have memories that last three months. I do hope Lucy remembers what she's come here for today. Hi Lucy, how can I help you today? Stop, stop, stop Lucy before you hurt yourself. Hmm, I think I may know what's wrong, but I need your help Robbo. I think Lucy needs an eye test. Please can you get some words up on the screen for Lucy? One eyesight test coming right up. Lucy, can you read this? Don't worry, Lucy. K, R, A, B 
spells crab. Let's try another. Never mind, Lucy. Sh, a, l, spells shell. Hmm. I know. Robbo, I think Lucy has a problem with her eyesight. Can you please fetch the reading goggles? Try these out, Lucy. They're super special goggles that make you see better. Sometimes humans need to wear glasses to help them see better too. A perfect fit. Let's see if that makes a difference. That's right, Lucy. Ish spells fish. Well done. I think you just needed a pair of glasses, didn't you? Here comes Cecil the snail. As you've probably guessed, snails like Cecil are very slow movers. In fact, they are one of the slowest creatures on earth. Oh, poor you, Cecil. You really don't look well at all. A little slime is good for a snail like Cecil as it helps them to move as well as protect them from the sun. But this is just too much slime. It means Cecil can't climb walls. He's just too slippery. I think Cecil may be suffering from a cold. I know how to make you feel better, Cecil, but we're going to need a bit of help from our friend Shane the koala. Robbo, do you remember Shane was eating eucalyptus leaves before? The oil from eucalyptus leaves can help with runny noses and coughs when you have a cold and should help our friend Cecil here. I think Shane is just leaving the pet rescue centre. I'll go and find him. Thank you so much for popping back, Shane. Now, Cecil, breathe in some of that precious eucalyptus oil and you'll start feeling better. Oh, look, here comes Felix at 11 o'clock. Felix, you're an hour late. Tortoises can live for a very long time. Some can live to 150 years old. I think I know what the problem is, Felix. Are you tired of being late for everything? It must be very difficult walking quickly with that big, heavy shell of yours. Do you have any ideas, Robbo? I do have something in mind. Roller skates! Great idea, Robbo. Let's try on this pair of roller skates. Try it out, Felix. Try and zoom around the cones. Ready, steady, go! Well done, Felix. I don't think you'll be late again. Lily is a breed of dog called a beagle. Did you know that a beagle could use its powerful sense of smell to follow another animal's tracks, even if they're buried under deep snow? Welcome, welcome, Lily. What seems to be the problem? You look very itchy, Lily. Shall we take a closer look at your fur and see what's making you so itchy? Let's use this magnifying glass. A magnifying glass helps us to see tiny things very clearly and in more detail. Aha! Just as I expected. You have jumpy, itchy little fleas having a party in your fur. Robbo, can you fetch the flea vacuum, please? Let's suck those little fleas right up. Let's count the fleas. One, two... Three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. We got them all. Those pesky fleas are so troublesome. Look, they're carrying on with their party. Lily, you are now flea free.